G'day guys, it's Marco here from Mosville's Non-Sport Trading Cards. I don't often do box breaks and look like I'm going to the gym with my headphones in, but um, I've actually got Dom here from Gimco on the phone. Just in case that happens again, I really don't want um, that to to, um, uh, to to happen again. And if it does, I want to be able to solve it very quickly because we could be in for quite a break tonight. Uh, thank you so much for your patience, guys. Um, good to see Charles on there um, and good to see Paula as well. Uh, Kaya, hello. Um, I can see you there as well. Who else is there? Um, Daniel, good to see you, mate. Hello, all. Um, let me just check something. Dom, can you hear me? Oh. Hello? Oh, he's let me go. Doesn't matter, guys. Alrighty. So, uh, welcome to Mo's Bulls Non Sport Breaks. I do apologise for that, but we're going to get cracking. We've got a lot to get through tonight. Um, tonight we have our very first pack stack break which is really exciting it's Walking Dead Season 3 Part 2 um, thank you very much um, for for joining it uh, I'm very wary to leave the picker packs so when I thought about the pack stacks and I got some feedback and the feedback was randomise the packs I went with it, we've tried it, it's sold out let's try it, let's see how it goes I've set up a Walking Dead Season 4 Part 1 case break. It's our first case break, and to tell you that I'm terrified to list a case break is an understatement. I'm utterly... I can't even explain how scary it is. Um, so it will need the full support of everybody out there. You guys have been amazing so far. It comes out in just shy of three weeks. So what I recommend is if you want to grab a spot this week, go for it. If you want to grab a spot next week, go for it. If you want to grab a spot in the third week, go for it. Uh, you're quite welcome to pay for the light in one go or you can pay as you go but I think everyone's going to need to grab a couple um, but that's alright Dom no worries about your phone dropping out that's good uh, G'day David good to see you and Tamika good to see you as well um, so yeah it's live it's really exciting I do want to get it sold out and I've actually cheekily asked to have it shipped out earlier than release date so hopefully I have it on the American release date and we can break it live on Mosbles non-sport trading cards so let's hope my supplier can follow through there um, before I get started though guys I have so much stuff to get through um, we have a billion and one breaks online we have WWE inside a super cheap I think it's like 13 bucks a spot two packs allocated to you some wrestlers in this sign that don't even wrestle anymore CM Punk is one of them it's a pretty great product don't miss out guys um, what else do I have an oldie but a goodie supernatural two box break seven dollars fifty each I mean seriously seven dollars fifty a spot 22 spots left of like 48 so it is getting there it's really exciting I think it's 48 could be wrong um, seven dollars fifty get in it it's a specific hip break so that one is not too far off we also have a Captain America break, um, which is not far off at all. Um, this, I think, only has six spots left in it. So get in amongst it, and we can break this over the weekend, as far as I'm concerned. All right. What else do we have? We have a James Bond 40th anniversary box breaks. Two autographs, a box, a really nice product, this one. All the James Bond signed in this release. It's pretty extraordinary. Uh, so get on there. I think it's 16 bucks a spot. So we can also do that. That's down to nine spots. Um, Star Trek, Paula, thank you very much for getting into this, and Dom, thank you as well. Star Trek, uh, the movies. Now, this one actually has autographs from all the, the film cast, um, including Leonard Nimoy did sign in this release before he passed away, which is pretty awesome. Bit of a whole circle thing. So that's cool if you're a Star Trek fan. Um, my favorite, my second favorite release is DC Epic Battles. I might have to pull this break because nobody seems too interested, but I'll tell you what, I cannot explain enough. It is awesome. Really awesome. Um, there's only 10 spots because there's only 20 packs a box. Guess what came in today? Sons of Anarchy 6 and 7. It's pretty exciting. You can tell because I'm doing my silly voices. Um, we've already sold out a whole box of this, so I've listed another one. There is two, there is this one online right now. There's only 10 spots left. If it sells out, we'll break both on the same night. I'd like that to be Tuesday night. Speaking of Tuesday night, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Four more boxes of Sons of Anarchy. Season one to three. Here it is. Trust my mum to call me in the middle of a box break. That's hilarious. Um, checking in on a little boy. Uh, Sons of Anarchy, season one to three five spots left it is so close guys on tuesday 
I've been told I'll be paid up for the last couple of spots. So you know what? If um, you can, you're keen to get a couple more, we can break six boxes of Sons of Anarchy on Tuesday night. And I'll tell you what, that's a bit bloody exciting. Um, do not forget though, that that season four of Walking Dead case break is out. It's a pre-sale, as soon as it arrives, we break it. We also have an Arrow season two break pick a pack. So please get in that if you're a fan. Now, I'm breaking it through gimco.com.au. If you don't know what that is, please go to the website. It's a great site where you can buy cards, you can sell cards, and you connect with collectors. It's pretty straightforward. It takes five minutes to register. Um, tonight, we're here to talk about Walking Dead, which ain't such a bad thing. Before I get onto it, though, guys, please check out my Gimco store. I've listed loads and loads of Walking Dead cards. We have ones like this little beauty from Season 1. This is a wardrobe card from Season 1. Boxes sell upwards of 400 US at the moment. You get two wardrobes per box. This is a Glen wardrobe card. We also have some Season 2 wardrobes. This is the great character Shane's wardrobe card from Season 2. They are all listed on Gimco, and I also have a chain and Laurie Grimes dual wardrobe. Very rare, also listed. Once they're gone, guys, I do mean this, they're gone for good. I will not have more than one of any of them on me at this stage, and I probably won't be getting any more. The boxes have gone through the roof, as will these, and uh, it's just the way the non-sport game goes. Tonight, though, we are here to talk about one, two, three boxes Walking Dead Season 3 Part 2. This is a pack stack. So what's going to happen is in front of me, I have uh, 12 spots. Okay, they're allocated. And I'll see what if I can make that nice and clear for you. So there you go. They're the 12 spots. Numbered, you can't really see until there's a shadow, but bear with me. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to open these three boxes. I'm going to pour all the contents into this box. It's going to be sitting right here okay what i might do i might do that with the camera up before we go down to here i'm going to shuffle them around i'm going to deal out six packs each we're going to go across and then that's row two row three four five six onwards so nobody gets eight packs dished out in one go it's as random as it gets at that point we already know spot one is allocated to charles tim uh tamika daniel dom david kaya kaya Dom, Tim, Tamika, Charles. I feel like I was playing a keyboard there. Um, so guys, without further ado, let's get into it. And let's see how this break goes. Wish us all luck, Mojo, to everyone. Pack box number one. Let's get it open. All right. Thank you for joining me again. I, I know that some of you have been online quite a few times watching me this week, which is pretty cool. All right, box number one. Let's just get it open. And in. All right, empty. Beautiful. Let's go for box number two. Oh, this is exciting. I'll tell you what. Now, some of the cool stuff. Every box will have an autograph. Every box will have a wardrobe. Every box will also... Oh, there you go. Empty. Um, every box will also have a walker wardrobe, which is great. If we're lucky, we'll hit a printing plate. If we're uber lucky, we'll hit a... Um, uh, sketch card and don't forget though there is also lucky last box box number three now this is what we're going to do with the case of walking dead season four except it's empty except it's going to be a full case all right guys let's get this down nice and low so you can see so they are your packs okay just bear with me while i shuffle them as best as i can without damaging them all right Cool. So what might happen here, this was the request of the guys to shuffle the packs. They wanted it more randomized, which means your stack might actually hit you more than just the one autograph. Um, but it also means that if you do, the other collectors are going to murder you because they're going to miss out. Another card which is pretty cool to get is the um, prop bullet card. And that's pretty cool. There's only, I think, one every one or two cases. It's quite a thick card, and there's the bullet embedded inside the pack, inside the card, which is pretty cool. I reckon that's as random as it's going to get. I'm just going to grab some packs. I'm not looking at anything at all. And here we go. Let's just deal them out. 
So this is going to end up with six packs per pile. Now guys, because we are trialing this break um, for the first time, please uh, feel free to send through some feedback. It might work, it might not work. I think building on the pick a pack style, which is my particular style of break, I'd love to see this style grow, the pack stack. Because we keep the pack at the center of the breaks. Um, a lot of people have, well not a lot of people, a couple of people have got in touch and said, oh Mark, it would be great if you could um, do some breaks that involve, um, you know, that involve uh, more, uh, like it's a hip space one. But my only problem is I can't see a way to make that uh, really worthwhile for you guys in a non-sport environment. Um, there's just not enough hits per box. Um, sometimes with sport, you know, you might have four big hits per box, so it's worthwhile doing a hit break. But with non-sport, they make it certainly make it very, very hard. All right, now we are getting close to empty in this box, which is a good thing. As you can see, these packs are as random as they get. Okay, let me just double check that because I looked away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. One, two, three, four, five. Six, 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 six. Six, six, and six, ladies and gentlemen. Empty. They've been dished out. All right, guys. So, on t underneath each each one, we'll do that. How about that? There's a number on top there. Now you probably can't see it, but don't fret. Um, just to give me a little bit of room, what I might do is move them to the side. But your packs have now been allocated. Please don't freak out if they do leave frame. I I hate when the cards from a box leave frame, um, but just trust that they're right here. So we'll be fine. All right. Cool. Uh, let's just get them out of my way so that I can open them without too much interruption. All right. First up, ladies and gentlemen, is Charles. Charles, good luck to you, mate. Thank you very much for watching. And guys, thank you to everyone for being so patient um, with my internet just before. All right. Number one, Charles, good luck, mate. Let's see how you go. Hello to everyone watching. Hello to the guys who've never bought spots in my break. I'm Marco from Mosebull's Non-Sport Trading Cards. All right, Charles, pack number one, you've got a base. So every single spot will get you six packs. You can tell it's been stored. It's quite an old release. It's a couple of years old because the cards stick together. We've got another base there, Charles. Oh, chart. there's another base. Base and base. Not a worry. All right. Just bear with me while I unstick them safely. Got a base. I'm going to go as quick as we can because there is so many to get through. Base, base, and base. All right. Good luck for stack number one, Charles. All right, here we go. Charles, base, base. Nice hit, Charles. Woodbury, chase card. Only two a box, so we're only going to hit six of them. Nice one. Merle, what a great character. And usually when you hit in a pack, you end up with a couple more base. So Charles, getting us off to a start with a Woodbury chase card. Not bad at all. All right, guys, here we go. Base. 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 And base. All right. Not to worry, Charles. Two more packs. Let's see what we can do for you. Yeah, good luck, mate. Another sketch certainly wouldn't be a bad way to start. So the good thing, this base, 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 and base. So the good thing about that Season 4 um, case that I've listed is there is one sketch a box, which means if we open a full sealed case, I can guarantee a sketch card will be in there. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, but Mark, if we hit the sketch last time, we probably won't hit it this time. Well, I can tell you that these boxes came from two different suppliers over Christmas. So there is a possibility of hitting that second sketch. Base. Base. And I ain't kidding when I say that. Alright Charles, that is your spot number one. The main hit you got there was a Woodbury Chase card. 
and you're well on the way to finishing a set. I've already sent you, a no I know I've sent you a lot of those singles, so that's pretty a pretty nice start for Charles. All right, spot number two over here. Here we go. Um, spot number two goes out to you, Tim. Thank you for joining in the break, mate. Pleasure to have you on board. All right. Um, so yeah, like I said, base, base. With that season four, base, base, and base. We have um, we have a seal case, and if crypto stick to their way of doing one sketch a case, one person is a hundred percent gonna hit. Might be in your stack. Here we go, base, 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 and base. Not to worry, Timmy. Let's see what we can do for you, mate. Now, a lot of people did come in and grab more than the one pack, which is cool. One pack stack. Base. 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 And base. Team's excited. It's good to see here, mate. Let's see what we can do for you. Good luck. Don't forget, guys, there is, um, you guys have a second one, so don't dishearten completely. Base. Oh, sorry there. Base. Oh, Tim picks up an autograph. Nice one, mate. This one is Milton Mamet was the character. And this is his Walker autograph. A16. A15 was signed by him again, but it was him as a human. Nice hit, Timmy. Picking up an autograph nice and early. And therefore, you got two more base cards. So Tim coming up nice and early with a Milton autograph card. Now, guys, please do message me. If you are on the hunt for individual cards, I say it every time I get asked, should I buy box break or should I buy uh, the card outright? And I say this. Oh, look at this. Timmy's hit a Woodbury Chase card as well. Nice one, Tim. Not bad at all. That's two out of the six of them we're going to hit and one out of the three autographs. So Tim picking up two hits from two packs. Well done. This is what can happen in a pack stack. Um, my advice when it comes to box breaking is enjoy it. But if you have a particular card you need, you're always better off just getting it. So please PM me if you want any autographs because I have a whole heap of Season 2 autographs which I haven't yet listed. Base, 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 base. So Timmy ending his second his, his spot there, his first spot, with an autograph and a Woodbury card. Not bad at all, Tim. All right. Now, don't forget, guys, at the bottom I've got the number so I know exactly who each pile goes to. Pile number three. Come on down, Tamika. Wishing you lots of luck, mate. Yeah, well done, uh, Tim, indeed. Um, so, yeah, I have heaps and heaps and heaps of cards listed on um, Gimco, and I have more in stock that I haven't listed yet. Base. Nice one. You've picked up one of the Governor Chase cards. Again, we're only going to hit six of these, Tamika. First pack, first hit. Not bad. And therefore, you're going to get a couple of base. Again, a Merle. Merle just really became a quite a special character for me. Nice, Tim, I'm glad you're happy, mate. An autograph is certainly always a good thing, especially if it's one you do not have. All right, here we go. Tamika, pack number two, good luck. Base, 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 and base. All right, not to worry, Tamika. Yeah, you do need Paula's number three luck. Paula, you're watching. As you can tell, they've named you Paula number three. Here we go. Base. 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 And a checklist card. So not all bad there. Um, yeah, so like I said, guys, if you are hunting down a particular card, please get in touch. I probably have it. Um, but so with something like a brand new product where you don't have the base set, you don't have any of the chase cards, a box break is always a very great way to enter and start the collection. Base. Base to make a good luck. Base. Base. And base. Let's keep your hit on top. Let's see what else we can do for you in this moment to make up. Base. 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 Another checklist card. And base. All right, come on, Tamika. What can we do for you? Let's see. Base. 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 
and base. So no luck there to make it, but you still have one more spot. All right, spot number four. This goes out to Daniel. Daniel, thank you for watching, mate. Good luck. Wishing you all the best. Um, let's see how you go. All right, we've got a base card there, Daniel. Another base, Michonne, nice, with a samurai. Base, sorry guys, I've just realized I haven't been holding these very close. Base, and a base of the governor. All right, pack number one, Daniel. Bunch of base there, not a bad thing though. I mean, if you haven't got a set, you're building one. Um, which is good. Now, the other thing I'll say about season four is uh, if less than 12 people, we've got a base there, Daniel, base, 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 and base. If less than 12 people buy all the spots in that season four case break, what I'll do is I'll make base sets for everyone because we should get 12 out of a case, one per box, and I'll send you a full base set as opposed to a bundle of singles. Base. Base. Nice hit. A Woodbury chase card. I think we've actually hit this exact one already. So nice hit, Daniel. Three out of the six of them, and you got a couple more base cards in there. All right. Let's see what else we can do for you. Good luck. All right. Pack number four for Daniel. Base. 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 Shown. Base. And a base. Now, there is some pretty cool autograph cards in here, um, but you've also got the autograph wardrobes. Now, they're a bit rarer, but there's only three of them in this release. Rick Grimes, Daryl Dixon, and Michonne. So should we hit one, you've nailed a really good autograph. Base. Base. Good luck, Daniel. Base. Base. And base. All right, this is Daniel's last pack in this break. Good luck, mate. You've picked up a Woodbury Chase card. Let's see what we can do for you. Cool. Let us see what we can do. Here we go. Daniel, base. 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 And base. All right. So unfortunately, Daniel, just the Woodbury card there. But also you've got that pile of singles to go towards your base sets. So not to dishearten, mate. The base sets do go up in value over time. Uh, all right, Dom. Stack number five. Good luck. Now, it's interesting. There will be six wardrobes. Three full wardrobes and three of the Walker wardrobes. And we haven't hit one yet. So we've gone through one quarter of this break already. And we haven't hit one. So, look, it's looking good for the people left in the break. Dom, here we go. Your first pack. Let me just unstick them for you. Base. 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 And base. All right. Here we go. Pack number two for you, Dom. Wishing you all the luck. Thank you for your patience just before, guys, with that internet malfunction. What a pain, I know. Here we go. Base. Base 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 and base all right two packs of base come on dom you can do this uh, and dom has hit something well done dom we've got a base card right behind it we have a morgan wardrobe card m45 nice great character was in season one and came back much later in the piece in season three Brilliant card. Nice hit, mate. Well done. The first wardrobe is out. So one wardrobe and one autograph are out to date. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. This is Dom's fourth pack. Now, because of the randomizing of the packs, Dom, you stand to hit again. Base. Good luck, Dom. Base. What? He's done it, and he's hit exactly the same autograph as Tim. Well done, mate. This one again is signed by Dallas Roberts. What a shame we've got the same one. What are the odds of that? Um, Milton Mamet autograph card. So nice, Dom. Two packs in a row. Look at that. Base and base. 
It's not a bad start there at all, Dom. This is only your first uh, sack too. I believe you have another one coming up. So Dom is certainly getting in there right now and picking up the goodies. So that means, guys, it's gone quite quickly, hasn't it? Base. 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 And base. I know, I've, I've, what are the odds of hitting the same one? But it just goes to show that the boxes came from two separate sources. So we might hit that other sketch. Because I've opened about five cases of this product and you've never hit the same autograph in the same case. So um, I think that just speaks for itself. All right, Dom, last pack. Here we go. Base. 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 Whoop. And lucky last. Base. All right, not to worry, Dom. Well done. All right, that was Dom. David, come on down. Pack number six, pack stack number six. We are getting there very quickly. Um, here we go. Good luck, mate. Thank you for coming on board so late, for getting us across the line in the end. Now, David doesn't need any luck. I say that every time. He's probably cursing me right now. Base. 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 And base. All right, a pretty... Uh, Cruisy start there for you, David. Yeah, that's true, Kaya. You know, it probably did. You know, the iron. You know, because it's all done by um, uh, a machine, it very easily could have come uh, been a similar packed box. Base, 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 and base. All right, David. Let's see what we can get you. Let's get your least chase card so far. I like that everyone has hit something, and I can see, David, you've hit the number one card. Uh, this card is the title card, but look at that. Well done, a Tyrese wardrobe, mate. Not a bad hit at all. M40, Tyrese's wardrobe, nice one. That's pretty wicked. I love Tyrese, great character. So David's picked himself up a wardrobe. That leaves us with one wardrobe and one autograph to go and three walker wardrobe so it's not all over yet guys here we go what do we go we've got a base oh i'm just a bit stuck together bear with me what's going on here okay gotcha base base a woodbury card for david nice one so i believe that's four of the woodbury cards out with two to go all right Okay, base, 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 and base, and lucky last, pack for David, one pack wonder, and he's picked up a wardrobe, typical David, well done mate, alright, mate, look at you, you're just on fire, it's ridiculous, he's picked up another wardrobe, He's picked up Milton's wardrobe card. This time it's M35 multicolor swatch. It's pretty cool because you can see barely, but you can see the shirt he's wearing in the picture. And that's a swatch from that. So David coming in strong with two wardrobes there. All right. Two big hits for you, David. A Tyrese and a Milton wardrobe. Not bad at all. Um, let's just plow on. We've got plenty to get through. We still have an autograph to come out, so this is going to get neck and neck now, guys. Uh, Kaya, pack number seven. Good luck, mate. This is quite stressful. It really is, because I'm such a... I want everyone to try and get at least something kind of person. It's quite stressful. Um, letting them out early. There you go. Just telling you all about my little weird idiosyncrasies. Here we go. Base. Base. Good luck, Kaya. Base. Base. And base. All right, not to worry there. Kaya, you have these five packs to come, and then you've got the next spot. So I'll tell you what, you've certainly hedged your bets to try and get that last autograph out. Good luck. Here we go. Base. 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 And base. All right, come on, Kaya. Let's see what we can do for you. Now that is bizarre. Kaya, look at that. Bang. Wardrobe. We've hit an extra wardrobe card. 
Andrea, M29, very, very unlikely, but there you go. And I mean, that is a wicked leather piece there. Nice hit, and that's just straight off that jacket. I mean, how cool is that? It's the thing I love about trading cards. You get something from the actual show. It doesn't get better than that. Um, Kaya, look at that, picking up the surprise wardrobe. There you go. When I saw the back of it, I actually went, oh, okay, we've picked up one of the wardrobe, Walker wardrobes, but no, you've gone one of the title characters. Well done. Base. 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 And base. All right, let's see what else we can do for you, Kaya. You have two packs left in this stack. All right. Good luck. I'm just pulling them apart for you. Here we go. Base. 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 And base. Lucky last pack for this stack, but not for Kaya for the night. Yeah, Paul, it is great. Nice one. Very happy for you, Kaya. I love the ee. That's pretty great. Um, don't encourage me to make high, high pitch noises, please, because I will. Uh, base. 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 Whoop. And base. All right, Kaya. Nice hit on the wardrobe. Let's get that out of the way. Pack number eight is Kaya again. Good luck, mate. Here we go. Now we do still have an autograph in amongst us. Somewhere here. Uh, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. I'm just getting those last few stacks closer and closer. I have to admit, when I open breaks uh, boxes on my own, I always love when I hit the autograph really late in the box. Um, it doesn't happen all the time. Bases. Base. And base. Um, it doesn't happen all the time. But the reason I love it, and I really do love it, is because um, it just, you know, it gives me... What? Get out, Kaya. Kaya. What the hell is that? A jewel wardrobe. We are having wardrobes coming out of everywhere. A dual wardrobe. These are bloody rare in this release. Nice hit. Andrea and the Governor. Nice. DM1. There's five of them in the series. I believe DM5 is the rarest. But a great hit, Kaya. Well done. Look at that. So we've hit two extra wardrobes. Now I'm feeling a bit better about doing the pack stack. We've got hits almost for everyone so far, which is good. I mean, actually, every single stack has had a hit, which is really good. Um, but obviously, everyone would like one of the bigger hits. All right, here we go. Unprecedented amount of hits coming out of this. Base. Base. Let's keep them coming. I want a printing plate now. Base. Nice one. I won't repeat what you said there, Kaya, just because we might have some kids watching. But um, yes, indeed. Nice one. I love this product. I love my Walking Dead. And we can only imagine what um, the people over at Cryptozoic have filled up and, and have prepared for Season 4. They've released no information. All I know is that I should have it in two and a half weeks, which excites me to no end. Base and base. So don't forget to jump on the Gimco website and grab those packs. Don't freak out if you don't have money for them today because you can pay them up. Nice. All right, Kaya, good luck. We've got two packs left for you. We've got a base. 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 Oh, that'd be cool to get the uh, title card printing plate. Dom, I agree. Nice one, guys. All right, last pack for Kaya for the night. Thank you very much for joining us, Kaya. And I hope you enjoy your two bloody extra wardrobe cards. I know that's very exciting. Base. Base, 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 and base. All right, nice pair of hits there, Kaya. Now, Kaya, I'll send them out with um, uh, a bunch of cards for you already. You know what I might do? I might actually send out every card I have of yours on in stock, and then when the uh, new product arrives that you purchased, I'll send it out separate. I think I'm going to have to do that. It's taking a bit too long for my liking. Stack number nine, Dom. Well, what can I say, mate? Apparently, there's no more wardrobes left in here. What the hell is that? 
How are we hitting all these wardrobes? This is unbelievable. That's the sixth wardrobe we've hit, Dom. Well done, mate. Another wardrobe. Either I am mental or we, these boxes are just loaded. I'm not complaining, though. Another Morgan um, wardrobe. And there are four colours in that one, so that's always a goodie. We like um, our, our, our wardrobes to have multiple swatches. All right, let's see how we go here. Pack number two for Dom. So, Dom, this is your second stack. Base. Base. Nice. You've picked up a governor card. We've hit this one already. It's interesting. Let's see if we can get a ward. Uh, um, base, base. Let's see if we can get a sketch. I'd love... You know what? I'd almost be happy with a printing plate. That'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't complain at all if we hit a printing plate. All right. Good luck, mate. Well, there's your Michonne with the sword. It's just the base card, not the uh, printing plate. Base. You've done it again, mate. You've picked up another Governor Chase card. So that's three out of the six have come out. Indeed, Charles, it does look like a mystery case. I've never seen this many hits come out of it. And like I said, I've opened cases of this product. It's bizarre. I mean, it's exciting. Yeah, right. Now, this makes sense. Dom... Do, 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 do. Walker Wardrobe. This is what I was expecting all along. We finally hit one. As you can see, it's pretty cool because the, the swatch is dirty and covered in blood. These are wicked. I love my Walker Wardrobes. Nice one, Dom. Here we go. Another hit coming out Dom's way. Let's keep going, Dom. Base. Base. Base base and base all right lucky last pack for you for the night dom good luck mate and dom thank you for grabbing your spots already in the season uh in the season four case and charles thank you for doing the same mate uh, like i said a little but a lot every little bit helps um base these boxes are unreal base and you've picked up another governor card the fourth out of six i believe i agree um, there, Charles. I'd love if Sons of Anarchy was as loaded as this. Base. Base. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I stop while I talk. It's because I'm a male and I can't, I can't, I can't multitask. I apologize for that. Stack number 10. Tim. Here we go, mate. Good luck. Yeah, it seems like the boxes want to uh, impress you guys more than they want to impress me when I crack them on my own. All right, good luck, Tim. Here we go. You've got a base. Base. Picked up a governor card. A lot of doubles, which again doesn't necessarily happen from the same, uh, the, if the boxes are from the same case. Um, obviously, you will get the same because you're going to build a couple of these chase sets, but um, not so close together, not three boxes apart. Again, it speaks for the fact that these boxes came from separate cases. Um, I'll try and do that, particularly because, you know, if we hit the sketch, I just want to try and randomise the odds of hitting another one. All right, here we go. Base. 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 And base. All right, Timmy, let's see what we can do for you, mate. Tamika and Charles are still hanging on for dear life. Hoping to hit something, and fair enough, too. Base base we have one autograph left but look according to these boxes who knows we could have bloody 10 who knows all right i actually can't believe how many wardrobes have come out i mean the wardrobe set in this release is epic it's got like 25 or 26 wardrobes not including the 14 15 autographs it's quite a big set but i'll tell you what it helps when three boxes generate um base uh base it helps when three boxes generate the uh, and another base there, Tim. Come on, Timmy, let's see what else we can get you. Um, yeah, when three boxes generate six wardrobes, I'll tell you what, it's a great start to finishing a set. And what I also love, look, I'm, I'm more about helping people build master sets or collect their favourite characters. So I always enjoy when one of my regular customers comes and asks for one of them. Base. 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 Uh, Kaya, very good question. 
Um, no, generally not. Uh, the, 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 if you have an extra hit, it's an extra hit, but they won't re replace autographs for uh, wardrobe. So we're still due on one autograph. And if we hit a Milton, I'll tell you what, you, you could have gambled on that and lost all your money had you tried. Hopefully no more Milton's come out. Base. Only because I want to see something different. Base. And base. Sorry, Timmy, in that stack, unfortunately, you've just got the one governor card. Uh, and you picked up the Milton autograph from before. All right. That's the way the breaks go. Tamika, stack number 11. We have two stacks to go. Lots of hits have come out. Let's see what we can do. All right. Got a base card there. Got a base. Base. Come on, Tamika. Base. Base. There has to be an autograph somewhere in these two stacks. So Charles, that's yours. This is you to make a good luck, mate. We are also expecting two more wardrobe cards with the walkers. So we should have a few more hits. Base. 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 And base. All right. Come on, Tamika. You can do this. Here we go. Base. Oh, they're a bit stuck together. Tell you what, the last time I had a pack stuck together, I had that Sean Penn sketch card. So I wouldn't think it's such a bad thing. Base. Base. Base this time. Base. And base. A nice Laurie Holden base. I know I'm going quite fast through it, guys, but there is heaps and heaps and heaps in here. So, and I know that I don't want the break to run on for too long for all you guys at home. All right, here we go. Base. Come on, this is bizarre. Base. 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 And base. All right. All right. Two packs left. And then, it's all up to Charles to take home. Good luck. Here we go. Base. Base. Come on, Tamika. You can do this. Base. Base. And base. Last pack for Tamika. Give you a lucky rub there. Here we go. Base. Base. Not base. Well done, Tamika. You've picked up another autograph card. This one is Sasha. Now the cool thing about Sasha's autograph, it's the only time she's ever signed in Walking Dead is this autograph. So unlike a lot of the other guys who sign in every series, you've just hit the, her only autograph. And she's such a prominent character. If I were you, I'd hold on to this one and put it in your top drawer. Because I'll tell you what, by the time season six comes out, she'll be well worth a pretty penny. Well done. So Charles, it looks like you're going to miss out on an autograph, unfortunately. Two more base cards. But not to worry, Charles, because... That's a nice Sasha autograph too. Let me see the back. Nice. A19. Uh, well done, Tamika. Well done. How was that? All right. I knew it would come out. I'll tell you what Kai's sentence got in my head. Do you think they'll replace the two? All right, Charles. Let's see what we can get you. Now, don't dishearten. We can still get a printing plate, mate. You're the one who picked up a sketch. So let's see what we can do. Base. Base. Another Woodbury card of this sort. That is insane. Tell you what, it's bizarre. All right. Got a Woodbury hit straight up, Charles. This is a good start, mate. Now, I guarantee... Oh, look, I don't want to guarantee anything for you, Charles, but we should hit two more wardrobes at least for you. The Walker wardrobes. So it's not all misery. Base. Base. Nice. All right. And also, Charles, by now I reckon you'd be coming quite close to finishing a full set, um, which would be good as well. So that'll also help with your little investment here as well. Got a base there. A base. 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 And base. All right. Three packs left. Where, oh where, can these Walker wardrobes be? 
it would actually annoy me if they replaced them with those other hits. Here we go, base. Base. Nice, another Woodbury card. Set of nine, these are. So it's good you're getting a couple of different ones there, Charles. Well done, base and base. Yeah, exactly, Kaya. That's what I was most worried about, to be honest with you. All right, here we go. Good luck, mate. So, base. Base. This is bizarre. Third one of these Governor Chase cards. Nice. I'm really excited too about the uh, case, only because I haven't opened it. So I always get really excited when there's a brand new product to explore and figure out the way it sort of lies. All right, lucky last. It looks like, unfortunately, Charles, those Walker wardrobes were replaced um, with, uh, what's it called? Those Walker wardrobes were replaced with the other hits. Because otherwise, I'd see a nice thick swatch in here. Good luck, mate. Base. Base. Base, base, and base. All right, guys, there we have it. Our very first pack stack break. I'm just going to just show you how many bloody cards just came out. Now, don't worry, they are on their individual numbers, so they will not get mixed up. That is what I worry about most when I do breaks. But I think I've created a little system for this one. Look at that, guys. Tell you what, that's a good effort towards a master set. Nice. Thanks, to Mika for getting the two spots in the case. Um, nice, nice, nice. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was a trial and error. It's a scary kind of break. But, but, I'll say this. Look, my personal advice. Pack stacks. Uh, are really good while you're building the set. Um, but like I said, if, you, if you're closer to finishing a set, send me a message. I might have the card you need in stock. It might cost a, more, a bit more than the price of a spot, but I'll tell you what, you're better off paying a little bit more and getting the exact card you want than paying a little bit and getting the cards you don't want, um, quite frankly. Uh, but that's what it's all about. This is the fun part. It's box breaking. Some really cool stuff. I'm going to remember exactly where I picked this one up for um, but uh, that's our dual wardrobe. They don't come out very often, honestly, these ones. I've only managed to pull one in my life. So there you go. They're not that rare. I just seem to, you know, it's not a thousand dollar card, but um, I just seem to have no luck uh, pulling them when I was building some sets. Uh, guys, thank you again for watching. This is Mo's Bills Non-Sport Trading Cards. I have a group called Mo's Bills Non-Sport Break. Please join it, get in there. Um, like I said, I have a season four case break. I'm terrified about it, not selling out in time. So please, like I said, a little bit, but a lot. Get you a season one box, eh? Hey? Well, look, maybe, maybe, I think, uh, should I tell you a secret? Perhaps, it's a perhaps, so it might not be true. It might not be true, I might be lying, but perhaps there might be some Game of Thrones season one stuff on the way, perhaps. I could be lying. Who knows? You're just gonna have to keep your eyes peeled. Um, Seven hundred US dollars a box for a Walking Dead season one is an absolute fortune. It would mean I'd have to charge something like seventy dollars a pack, mate. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Nor do I kind of want to do that. It'd be terrifying. Um, but guys, without further ado, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, don't forget to sign up to ginkgo.com.au. Uh, I'm Marco from Mosbles Non Sport Trading Cards. Until the next time, happy breaking. See ya.